Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jisudo. I am playing Final Fantasy XIV. Last episode we did, or in the case we started on the entire fishing quest line, and today we're going to go and continue. Your goblin friendly friend was looking for you here. He was hoping you'd make his fishiest fantasies come true. We recall a dish that tickled his fancies some years ago, and now needs you to procure the necessary fish for him. This desert catfish, as it is apparently called, is indigenous to, and this is the truly mind-boggling part, the desert of all places. Toktik spoke of a trapper named Ugoromuli who'd fished, out of, who'd fished one out of forgotten springs in the southern reaches of Thanalan. If you want that catfish, you'd best go and speak with her. Now we get to do our first piece of dune fishing. Fun of tactics, you say? Sure, June fish and uh, June fished my share of my fair share of this catfish. Never eat them, don't know that much. Only ever use them as a sa as sandworm bait. Thought of eating desert catfish hadn't occurred to me until the goblin devoured it before my eyes. Still wouldn't touch them myself. Different fish for different folk, as they say. No problem fishing them out though. Can't even tell you how it's done. Just comes down to the right bait in the right place. Nothing to it really. Easy as dropping a line with some land uh, some some sand leeches. At the fishing hole east of Byrogod Strike, near the Amal Amalja encampment. Okay, sand leeches. Right. Not the same as sea fishing here in the dunes, mind you. Real test of your real out here. Triggers to hold on, uh, hold on when it flails. Only to take one, only takes one to make a dale's haul. Good hunting. Right. Um. Are you the person who? No. Uh. I think it's the merchant and mender over here. That sells me the stir. Uh, sand leeches. There we go. Uh, let me also go and sell some of this other stuff that I've gotten. That I don't particularly care about. A boat. Hashtag a boat. So it's a Byrogoth strike. So that's over here. Bum, bum, bum. I don't even know how to catch the desert cat. <laughs> Wait a second though, if I look at the weather right now, and the amount of time that it takes me to get this thing, this right here is a big fish. I remember that one, you're getting ready, it's insufficient to, cat to land this catch. I don't think I've ever seen that message before. <laughs> It's quite interesting that I still remember this though. But yeah, this is a big fish right here. A heat wave in combination with uh, mooching is what I need. But I don't have I don't have an anywhere near the gathering rating to fucking get this thing. <laughs> so yeah. As far as I know it I don't even need it. A uh, fish that I will need to catch is on the other side. Right. 
Fish bring your fine tasty fresh fish cat in a uh, sandy lands for friendly friend tactics. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> tactics is thanks giving to fish bringer for lip smacking fish cat. Fish cat no strings make for strengthful satchel strands. Tactics trades tongue flaps with lin lingath for fancy cookings of fish cat and Bismarck. Links <laughs> links uh, my god. Linksath. Only fancy cooks after shop lock because of strengthful fish cat odor. Fishbringer makes TikToks <laughs> or tactics, Jesus. One happy gob. Or happy gobby. Them some magic words. Also, you can see Discord pop ups, which is a little bit annoying, but at the same time. Future me will just have to edit them out, I guess. Yeah, future me would definitely remember that. Um, I'm gonna be right back. Alright. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I'll be right back again. Alright. <laughs> now I'm back. Jesus. Just a fish I was hoping to see. Uncanny timing, as always. The celebrity you've, uh, the celebrity you've achieved has resulted in a more obscure request than I know what to do with. Your June fishing escapades in particular have raised eyebrows. The truly uh, eccentric requests I've seen fit to turn away, but who can say no to the Bruguer Consortium. I, for one, cannot. But perhaps you have something else to say when you speak with Sibel. She's waiting for you outside the guild. Ah, Lynn, I take it. The legends said you were, uh, you were svelte, but failed to mention how voluptuous you are as well. I have no doubt that our time together will be advantageous to us both. To pieces, then, I want you to bring me rain collars from Gudania's jd Flood. However, there's a catch to this catch. The rain colors spent most of their time lying, uh, most of their time lying dormant on the bed of the water, active only when the rain comes. Keep an eye to the skies. You'll need the fish to be aroused so that they'll bite at the bait. Stem boars are most effective, or so I am told. As to why we want them, well, the fish are prized by wealthy old dance for possessing certain properties, and it is the custom of the Bruguer Consortium to fulfill unconventional needs and desires. Five rain collars are all we require to satisfy this aristocrat's needs. Uh, let me teach you guys something. So, we will need weather requirements right now. How do you get information on those? You go to the Sky Watchers. Every big city has a Sky Watcher. This is the way that you can do it in game. However, the fishing tracker that I was talking about earlier gives you a lot more detail. In any case, at the moment we can see that it's raining in Gridania. That is so lucky. Um, yeah. And it's gonna rain again afterwards too, so... We are good. We are good to go. However, if it wasn't raining, then I would still just... Probably buy them off the market board anyway. Right. Now I have to go and buy some stem borers. I think in any case, yeah. Um, stem borers. Let's see. Where are they? There we go. And let's go to good early door. And stretch. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's a sound for a stretch, huh? Totally my intention. Actually, yeah, it was just as a joke. Um, so I remember uh, when I initially wanted to try and catch these ones that I had a hell of a fucking shitty time because it was always like waiting for freaking rain to happen and it just wouldn't happen it was really annoying in any case use the stem bores during the rain And then I think um, rain collars are two exclamation point fish. So normally, as long as I'm not doing something ridiculously incorrectly, this should be a rain collar. Kabam. Now I need four more of these buggers. I thought they were smaller fish though. Didn't remember the rain collars being this big. 
I thought they were more like full moon sardines in size. Okay. Yeah, my gathering rating is not high enough for this. Yeah. Again, my friends. A big fish. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it just happens, really. <laughs> Sometimes you get lucky, but at the same time it's also unlucky because you don't need to catch it right now. But I'm pretty dang sure that the big fish of this place is also uh, rain requirement. Like also it's required to to be able to catch this fish you need rain. There we go. <laughs> Another thing you can do, um, at the moment I am fishing all of these fish up that I get basically. Which you don't really need to do. If you want to do things the fastest and most efficient, if you see, for instance, you need a fish that has only three exclamation points, only a ferocious bite, then you can just ignore everything else. Just let the fish take your bait. It really is just one of the best things that you can do. If you want to be really fast. Because a lot of the, like, I feel like a lot of the windows for these really big fish um, for the, like, just the big fish. They are called the big fish. The windows can be really small from time to time. Uh, they require, like, certain things to be overlapped, and... In general, I would say, if you want to do... Like, if you want to go and catch all of the big fish that are to catch, I would highly suggest... Getting yourself to a really high level. This is gonna be the fucking big fish again, huh? I hate the fact that I'm getting this now. Because I spent so much time getting some of these fish that it's really stupid when I actually get a bite like this and the game's like, your gathering rating's not good enough. Let me go and explain something for a second. The thing I want you guys to get before you start doing this is this over here. Go to up to level 83. We're gonna take a look. Um... Yeah. Just get yourself to level 83 with your fisher. And then you should have all of the skills that you need to catch them. It also means doing the entire fishing quest from... Um, so basically from a realm reborn at that point, And also from um, Heaven Sword. So you can unlock patience too. And other skills that are in between that. Then, and only then, would I recommend getting the big fish. Because then you have more than enough skills to be able to actually do this. That, in combination with, you'll have relatively easy ways of getting uh, cordial, or high cordial to be precise, and those are items that give you GP. So, there you go. If you're wondering for this playthrough, I will not be catching all of the big fish. <laughs> I will only be doing all of the... Um, all of the side quests. Well, yeah, only. I'm gonna be doing everything that is basically a side quest. All the other stuff is kind of more optional. And catching all the big fish would take a tremendous amount of time. And I want to do that with my main character and not with this one. <laughs> However, there are gonna be some exceptions to this. Some exceptional fish that I'm gonna have to catch, which are really difficult to catch. But they are related to a quest line. And I will do that once I have finished the fishing quest line in heaven's word but earlier than that i'm not gonna do it because then i'm gonna be losing my fucking mind trying to catch some of these fish anyway i know you were the right last for the job who else could deliver such a rare and virile specimen these will suit the old dance purposes quite well the elder males have been led to believe that uh, that ingesting the rain colors will endow them with less uh, with let us say vigor no one knows whether it is true, and I don't personally care to find out. I only know that rich men will stop at nothing to recapture their former glory, and so these fish would fetch a, a fair price at the market. Speaking of fetching, I'm quite impressed with your handiwork, Lin. The consortium will be pleased. Of course, you've pleased more than just the consortium. I look forward to seeing more of you. Alright. Quest complete. I believe fish can fly. 
Oh, so you haven't forgotten the old fisherman's guild. Good to see that all the prestige and glamour that the company's fishing stardom hasn't gone to your head. It's a wonder your head hasn't your head hasn't popped what with all the sardine and catfish fables, inflating your legends to prodigious proportions. And to think, I knew you uh, I knew you when you were still dredging anchovies out of the muck. Rest assured that whatever greatness you go on to achieve, you'll always be the, the sorry scrap of kelp that floated into the guild one fateful day, as far as I'm concerned. Now go speak with uh, Sibel and see to her request. Didn't you notice her waiting for you outside? Ah, Lin. The, Le the Libinius lords of Ulda were terribly excited by the rain colors you reeled in, sending our prophets soaring accordingly. And so I come to lay yet another challenge before you. You have conquered the waves and dunes, but what of the clouds? Only you are heavenly enough to fish the, the cloud cutters that swim the low skies of Ishgard within the Sea of Clouds. I too doubted my ears upon hearing of such a fish, but Carvalain's resolve was adamant and he will hear no protests. Besides, I've never been one to say no. Luckily for us, the Bruguer Consortium has friends in high places, namely the Highlands of Curthus. You'll want to seek out Ferma Fermanant. Fermanant? Okay. At Whitebrim Front, he will tell you all you need to know. Confident that you will prevail in your conquest, I have rendered full payments to Sisipu in advance. You need only bring her five cloud cutters to satisfy me. Right. I still cannot believe that I've run into two big fish already. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's a blizzard. Can you take a wild guess at what I might run into in the fishing spot that I'm going to? Although I think that this fish requires me to mooch like twice. Greetings, traveler. Visitors from Limsa Laminza are rare to these climes. I'm told you seek to fish the magnificent cloud cutters that grace the Sea of Clouds. As squires, we practice catching our dinner, but the task is trying for even the most experienced among us. How one unaccustomed to the, sh to the chore might hope to succeed where so many accomplished fishermen have failed is beyond me. But mine is not to stand in the way of foolhardy endeavors. The fish float upon inflated pockets of vapor, allowing them to ride currents of air. Thus, they are thus able to escape predators and take refuge in the clouds. Moreover, an aerial fish requires an aerial worm, in this case, hoverworms. Such is the extent of, my, of the knowledge that I will confer onto you. I fear the remainder is a matter of experience and skill. I should wish, uh, I should wish you good luck. You will surely need it. Right, let's go in here and buy some hoverworms. And with some, I mean 99. Gonna equip them. Why is there a delivery moogle here? That's actually—I only just noticed that. There's like delivery moogles in all of these. That's weird. Okay, now I need to go and find a spot where I can fish. You can see it by like your action becoming available. I think it's a little bit farther to the back. There we go. Right, hoverworm, and off we go. They didn't tell me anything specific about mooching, so I don't really think I'm going to mooch for this one. Although I do not remember if it's a one exclamation point or two exclamation point fish. Cloud jellyfish. I have a cat. Right next to me, who's very... No, we're not going to do that. You know it. You're not allowed to sit on my laptop. In any case, just not allowed to be on my desk in general. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> you are not allowed, cat. I think this is a skyfish. Oh no. 
No, 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 no. Come here. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life trying to get this cat away from me. At least for now. There we go. It's a really nice cat, but at the same time, I can finally record and I would like to record. <laughs> Alright, you know I'm gonna show you guys this. Just to don't reel them in, and that's gonna take less of your time. You do automatically lose your bait, though. But I think you all just in general lose your bait. Even when you catch a fish. So it doesn't really matter too much. The only point where that could be kind of dangerous is when you are using um, a tackle. Because then there's like a chance of the, the, the line breaking and you losing your tackle. Which is not a good situation. <laughs> Because those are uh, not... In any case, like some of the higher level ones are n only uh, available from crafting. You cannot buy them in shops, so... And that can be kind of annoying. There's another one. Another one. Please give me another one. <laughs> I would very much appreciate if I could get another one. Yeah, I could technically use this to go and catch something bigger. And I think this is actually the way that you catch the big fish around here. But... I'm not going to be able to catch the big fish because of my horrendous stats. Um, and I don't even need them anyway. One more. Just one more. There we go. And back to the guild we go. <laughs> As I yawn again. So, you're to pluck five cloud sea cutters from blah -de blah -de blah like this. The fabled cloud cutters turns out they weren't birds after all. Just like, f uh, just like jellyfish, they jump, jerk, and jolt to jiggle themselves up. Well, speaking of things that float around aimlessly... Oh, that's... Uh, sorry, that's a super... Oopsie. His guardians consider the Cloud Cutter a crest of class and character. And confirm them to commemorate and congratulate countrymen who commit conduct a cut above the clouds, if you will. I won't... But what would it be to cavil a carvelane? I get one, but... Wait, what? I don't know. Local lore <laughs> alleges that a legendary elephant in Limsa Limsa is actually an Isgardian lord. I wonder what you'd do if it, uh, what you, what you'd do if it were, Carveline. I would do what I'm going to do anyway, deliver the fish. Yeah, Carveline is like that one captain, I think. <clears throat> the one sus Guardian captain, or Ellison captain, I guess. Okay. We're just gonna go in, huh? This is a difficult one to catch, if I recall. God, this is unbelievable. According to the age-old adage, when the going gets tough, the tough go fishing. Unfortunately, the adage is of little use when a tough going happens to be a fishing ban. Uh, you haven't heard, have you? Einzor Slafsrin has closed all docks and ports for fishing vessels on the authority of Admiral Merrillwip. Some sorry sailor supposed to supposedly spotted a serpent at sea, and so Slafsrin stated that for our safety, all our services must cease. Also frustrating. Well, 
It may be a group of sed uh, sedentary fishers, but we're not about uh, we're not about to take this sitting down. Forsooth. First, we need to know what we're up against. The Bruguer Consortium maintains ties to the Maelstrom, so Sibel may know something we do not. It is time to go fishing for information. Nod. <laughs> oh my god. I just noticed where the cat is. Jesus. It's certainly a pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under happier circumstances. The news came as a shock to us as well. Any Lominson who has ever boarded, uh, who's ever boarded a boat has heard the tale. Back when the world was not but a dry, lifeless dock, Limlion created a giant serpent from its massive maw. The creature spat forth water until the land was filled. But it would not stop. To prevent the world from being completely submerged, the navigator trapped the serpent in a floating island with a warning that if it were ever to be freed, the seas would rise until the world ended. This is from where the Thalassocratic Thal Thal motto, till sea swallows all, comes. You can imagine the Admiral's surprise upon learning a sailor claims to have actually seen the serpent in question. While you and I may recognize it as a fairy tale aimed to scare children, the panic in the streets is real, and so Slavswin hasn't any choice but to take drastic measures in order to maintain the peace. Regrettably, those drastic measures have dire consequences for both your guilt and my consortium. And the Maelstrom is too occupied with ship inaugurations to conduct a proper inquiry, meaning our only hope is to take matters into our own firm yet supple hands. <laughs> it may be impossible to prove the Sea Serpent does not exist, but perhaps the testimony of the eyewitness could be impungent. Or impun... Impung... Impunched? In impung... Anyway. Um, I believe you have met the sailor responsible for the sighting. The one known as Chacharoon. Ah, I see. Chicharoon see big fish at sea. Some say sea is sea serpent. Chicharoon just want well, just want fish to fish. Sea fisherman Wabalago about fishing fish in sea. <laughs> I've seen enough to, at sea to know where the uh, when the sailor are see, when the sailors are seeing things. And what Chicharoon saw was no sea serpent for sure. Missing your marks will make mountains out of molehill. Distances deceive and elude the minds of men at sea. My money says your serpent is a Maslaya Merl uh, marlin, a fairly big fish, but by no means a monster. You can see them barreling back and forth along the north of Bletchore. But if spied from the shore, people will shrug their shoulders. You need to make sure them meet that marlin up close and personal. I'll admit it's easier expressed, uh, expressed than executed, and I've never, I've never napped one. If you don't loosen up your line, they'll rip your rod right out of your hands. But first, you need a bite. They won't waste their breath on the worms from other waters. Mosiah and Marlin demand mooching, more familiar to you as fish wheeling, perhaps. And not just any act of mooching, but the daunting duty of the dramatic double mooch. I reckon you're ready for it. Get a goby ball and haul in a harbor herring. Once you've hitched your herring, offered up to an ogre barracuda, then bait that beast to make the, Marle the Mosiah Marlin bite. Makes me want to sail out myself, but Slavswin would slay any guildmaster who slights him. Besides, I'm sure Sissipu would sooner see you 68. Alright, so now I need a Gobi Ball? Is that correct? Um, let's see. Uh, J. A goby ball, yeah. Um, there we go. So I remember this fish being difficult to catch, but I that that could be wrong after the fish that I caught. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Kobe ball. Here we go, my friends. Let's see how this is going to go. So I need. What's it again? It's a harbor herring. 
to get an Ogre Barracuda and then get the thing. Okay. Time to use patience. I'm not sure what a Harbor Herring is. I'm not sure if it's a two exclamation point fish or a single exclamation point fish. Or like a weak bite or strong bite. I need to use that instead of the exclamation uh, points. That's a Harbor Herring. So, um, however, the thing that does happen is that you need to catch a large sized fish the second time too. Since I'm using normal patience, the chances of that are not guaranteed. Which is honestly the most annoying part. Let's see if I got myself an Ogre Barracuda. And a lot I got a large fish, so let's hope that this is an Ogre Barracuda. Yeah! Yes! Um, let's, go. let's go and... Um, let's see. I think this is probably going to be a ferocious bite. I'll just use my strong... Uh, my strong hook set. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Once we get past this point, I'm basically going to catch this fish. But whether or not it's the marlin is another matter entirely. And there we fucking go. Nice. Well, that was easy. Yeah, compared to like some of the other fish that I've needed to catch, this is a piece of cake. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I'm not. I'm not uh, sad about that at all. God, I can't believe you reduced to this. Still, I Wallalago. Wallalago. never. Uh, wait. Wallalago's never been right for running a guild. He's never been wrong about a fish. If he says a serpent is a must lie, a marlin. That's what it is. That's a marlin. I can see. Uh, uh, I can see some might mistake it for a monster. Hopefully, Slavstrin will see the same. Come. Sibel arranged for us to speak with the Grand Storm Marshal. So many moons has it been. I can scarcely remember the last time I boarded a merchant ship for anything other than an inspection. Quite comfortable indeed aboard a luxurious fleet of the Burgare Consortium. No doubt to put crooked mongers and traffickers at ease while making illicit deals at sea. Perish the thought, we would never dream of calling the Grand Storm Marshal to a vessel where such roguery took place. A shame, I'd imagine those sorts of vessels were the most fun. Supposed to best tend to business. Of course, sir. Allow me to introduce uh, to you the Maslaya Marlin. Great Limerian's ghost! That blurry thing is massive. However, did you catch it? Though I suppose it doesn't matter. At any rate, it is your contention that this Marlin is our sea serpent? You can sing yourself to sleep with that silly sea serpent story, but it still won't hold water. And if things are proceeding too smoothly, you always know just the wrong time to act a guilt master, don't you? Never you mind, I've known Mobilago long enough not to mind his matters. Unlike his fish, I know when I'm being baited. Boy, you've been baiting and bullying us with your ban. Will you let up and lift it? A fine question, to lift a fishing ban? Or to not lift a fishing ban? What to do, what to do, what to do? On one hand, I could lift a ban, but on the other... Now who's the one baiting? Why not? Of course, there are formalities we must observe, so I'm afraid the decoration will have to wait until tomorrow. And the ban will be lifted, won't it? Unless you'd prefer it weren't. By no means, it's just... I fear that simply bringing you a large fish might fail to serve as adequate... Evidence in overturning a formal military pl promulgation, jeez. Well, I never really believed all the sea serpent citizens in the first place. It was more about putting Lomenzen's minds at ease than anything else. And the Marlin you've brought me should accomplish just that. 
A few of our more paranoid conspiracy theorists in the Maelstrom alleged the Serpent to be part of an elaborate Sahagin plot, so this should make for a nice laugh at their expense as well. And to think, this all started because someone spotted a large fish. And because fish tails are wont to go in size, the large fish became serpent sized and then ceased to be a fish altogether. It makes you wonder about what sorts of overblown fantasies we've all been led to believe. It sounds like you were ready to lift the band whether, uh, whether we brought them, you to Marlin or not. If only it were that simple, a fine Grand Storm Marshal I would be if I went lifting bands willy-nilly without any evidence Evidence the problem has been solved. This Marlin is essential to assuage, assuaging, assuage, assuaging yeah, I guess, the irrational fears of the public. Well, then I suppose Lynn's evidence weren't for naught after all. I only wonder how the fishtail grew out of proportion in the first place. I don't delight in delving into details, but that deed might have been my doing. Why am I not surprised? When I mentioned to Chacharoon that the Maslaya Merlin was a monster, I meant it metaphorically, but may have been misunderstood. I think it would be in the best interest of all involved I, if I don't hear any more of the story. The Maelson expressed its gratitude for your efforts in bringing this evidence to light. Your guilt will be notified when the fishing ban is, ban is formally lifted. I bid you a good day. Terrifying to think a little exaggeration can get out of hand, particularly when you consider how often fishermen, how often fishermen exaggerate. But it sounds like Slavsvin knew something fishy all along. Nevertheless, you saved our guilt from destruction at the hands of an imaginary sea serpent. Funny how Namulika delivered you to our doorstep just when we needed you most. And I certainly can't consider you a guppy anymore, now that you've caught a Marlin, the guildmaster himself, never quite reeled in. I'd say we name you the guildmaster, but then Lobolago would have nothing to dodge. And I'm not ready to let that fish off the hook so easily. But I suppose we could at least let him know he has a rival. And that might be your finest fishing accomplishment of all, luring Wabalago back to work. Right. Quest complete. Kabam. Also, now there's this quest. The Beast of Brewer's Beacon. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, these ones are... Mmm. Quite something. I seem to remember... This one being a pain in the butt. So these quests, uh, in combination with another quest that will appear later on, I will do after Heaven's Word. <laughs> so I can have patience too. Because otherwise, I'm not doing this. <laughs> the end. Oh, Marmite chest is full. Uh, let me go and just dump something out, I guess. Uh, let's go and return this to my inventory and equip this. Let's also go and clean up my inventory, and that is going to be the end of my episode. But yeah, no, this quest is... It's ridiculous, if I remember correctly. At some point, it basically expects you to go and catch a... Um, if I recall correctly... I'm gonna just sell this bait, I don't need it anymore anyway. Um, if I recall correctly, it is going to require you to catch... A fish during um, a certain time period where you have to mooch twice while there are also other fish which go for those mooched fish. Are you starting to see the picture over here? <laughs> it basically comes down to you being boned. Well, no, it more comes down to having either patience to which guarantees getting large fish in the first place. Um, and then another thing that is really handy is having... Um, hold up a second though. I'm having a fucking brain fart. Um, having patience too. Having a lot more GP so you can make use of fish eyes a lot more. Having cordial to restore your GP. Having Thaliac's favor to restore your GP. 
Um, just like all these different things are just going to make it so that you don't have to spend so much time trying to catch this dang fish. Anyway, that's for later on. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Disfet. I was playing Final Fantasy XIV. And the next episode, we are going to go and start on the crafter quests. I hope these ones are going to take less long because of the amount of materials that I still have in my inventory and the amount of materials that I can just buy straight up from the shops over there. So let's just, I guess, pick a god and pray. There's also even more bait in my inventory that I... Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll hold on to this for now. Anyway, goodbye.